number two, Suratul Baqarah, the cow. This is the longest surah of the Quran. It has 286 verses divided in 40 sections. This surah was revealed in Medina. The surah deals with a number of issues related to beliefs, history, law and morality. The surah begins with a statement that it is Allah who revealed this book, the Quran, for the guidance of those who are conscious of Allah. Only those who seek guidance can benefit from the guidance of this book. There are three types of human beings. Number one, those who believe in the unseen realities perform prayers, give part of their wealth in charity, believe in what is revealed in this scripture and what was revealed before to the other prophets and messengers of Allah. These are the true believers. They shall benefit from, the, from this book and they shall be eternally successful. Number two. Second group consists of those who have decided to reject Allah's message. They are the kafirs. Since they have made up their minds to reject Islam, no preaching will help them. Allah will punish them on the day of judgment because of their rejection. Number three. Third is the group of people who say they have believed, but actually they have not believed. They try to be on both sides. Sometimes at the side of faith and sometimes at the side of unfaith. They are hypocrites. They may think that in this way they will gain both sides. But in reality they are the losers. They are also the losers. All people are invited to worship Allah and to become his two servants. Allah created all people and he made the earth and heaven for their benefit and produce sustenance for them. The problem comes when people deny their creator, break the relations that Allah told them to keep, follow the wrong ways in life and make mis mischief in the land. The story of the creation of human beings is told. Allah created Adam, he gave him knowledge, asked angels to bow to him and gave him and his wife the garden of bliss to reside and enjoy its fruits. He told them to eat whatever they wished but not to approach on one tree, but Satan caused Adam to lose paradise. Allah sent Adam and his wife to earth and told them they must remember the lesson that they learned in paradise. They need God guidance. Satan is their biggest enemy. Those who will obey Allah on this earth will return to paradise, but those who will obey Satan may end up in hell. Allah's covenant with the children of Israel is mentioned. It is mentioned that those who receive Allah's covenant, they must live by it. Allah bless those who fulfill their promise with him. Prophet Ibrahim's prayer, Kaaba's importance and the coming of Prophet Muhammad is also mentioned. The command to change the direction of prayers from Jerusalem to Kaaba to emphasize the final covenant of Allah with Prophet Muhammad and his followers. The surah also speaks about basic beliefs, act of worship, economic dealings, moral and manners. The rules of marriage, divorce and idda are mentioned. The surah has discussed many subjects following the outline of the sections of the surah. Introduction to the sections. Number one, the book of guidance for those who want to be righteous, the difference between the believers and the non-believers. Number two, the hypocrites, their sickness, mischief and self-deception. Number three, mankind worship Allah alone, make no partners in Allah's divinity, the challenge of the Quran. This book will guide many, but many will remain in error, the character of those who shall remain in error. Number four, the story of the creation of Adam, Allah's plan and promise to send his guidance from time to time through his prophets. Number five. Address to Bani Israel to accept this message. Allah's covenant must be fulfilled. Number six, warnings to those who stray from the covenant of God. How some from among the children of Israel turned away from God's teachings. Number seven, God blessings on the children of Israel and their transgressions. Number seven, the real recipients of divine salvation. 
the hesitation of Bani Israel in sacrificing the cow. Number seven, some perversions of those who were supposed to follow the law of God. Number ten, basic principles of God covenant with the children of Israel. Number eleven, some of them were arrogant to follow the teachings of their prophets. Some rejected the prophets or tried to kill them. Some worshipped the calf, disobeyed God's commands, and became too greedy for the life of this world. Number twelve, opposition and enmity towards the prophets, following devils and magic. Number thirteen, reminders to the believers to follow these examples. Stay firm on your principles. Some among the people of this of the book will try to mislead you with false claims and assertions. Number fourteen, the guidance of Allah is here. Read the book of Allah and follow it. Fifteen, the great examples of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him. He and his son built the Kaaba and prayed for a prophet to come. Sixteen, Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, submitted to Allah, and this is the message that he and his sons gave to their progeny. Seventeen, the change of Qibla, and the response of the hypocrites and fools. Those who have knowledge know that this is the true Qibla of all the prophets. Eighteen, follow the direction wherever you are. This is the universal Qibla for all. Nineteen, believers will be tried, but they should be firm and steadfast and must face the trials with patience and prayers. Number twenty. Allah's signs and His bounties are everywhere. The polytheists and idolaters are misplacing their loyalties. Twenty-one believers should eat good and permissible food and shall never follow the steps of the devil. Number twenty-two, the true piety and righteousness. Some rules related to the punishment of murders, the rules of bequests. Number twenty-three, fasting and Ramadan, the objective of fasting and some rules. Twenty-four. Rules of Hajj, fighting those who expel Muslim from their homes. Number twenty-five, no fighting during Hajj, rather seek God's bounties when you return from Hajj. Twenty-six, appreciate God's bounties. All human beings were originally one community. Divisions came later. Be generous and defend yourself and your faith. Twenty-seven, some important questions answered. War in the sacred months, wine and gambling, charity. Orphans' money, divorced women, and their situation. Twenty-eight, the law of divorce. Twenty-nine, continuation of the law of divorce. Thirty, rules on the remarriage of the divorced women or the widows. Thirty-one, further rules of divorce. Thirty-two, fighting in the cause of God. Two examples from history: Israelites under the leadership of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Thirty-three, under the leadership of Prophet David, peace be upon him, the victory came over. The forces of Goliath, thirty-four, emphasis on charity to Allah belong everything. His throne extends to heaven and earth. No compulsion in religion. Allah bring out people from darkness unto light. Thirty-five, Allah's power over life and death. Some examples: Prophet Ibrahim's dialogue with Narmud, with Namrud, a man in the valley of death. Prophet Ibrahim asked Allah, "How will He raise the dead to life?" Allah's answer to Prophet Ibrahim, thirty-six. Allah blesses charity. Some examples of how Allah blesses charity: thirty-seven. Emphasis on charity. Spend good things. Give openly and secretly to the poor and needy. Thirty-eight. Prohibition of riba and its bad effects on individuals and society. Thirty-nine. Some rules. on loans transactions 40 conclusion and prayer everything in the heaven and earth belong to allah the prayer of the believers